All right, so now that we have everything put in, what we're gonna do is actually go to the top up here and add our controls for this. So we need to first add a ROM and we need to add our resets in here. What we're gonna do is the data that we cleared before, which is gonna be the position, right? The position zero and the actual alarm data. All right, so we're gonna actually clear the first out. Um, this is going to be the way to, you know, actually go in and, and this is how we're actually accumulating the first out fault scenario, right? So this is, if you think about this, this is accumulate, uh, coming in here and saying, okay, you have a fault. This is going to be the first one. It's going to say it's detected and it's going to stop at that point, right? It's not going to continue to go. So we need to come in here afterwards and use this HMI reset and put that in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in and use the opposite section up here. And then we're going to come in and we're going to uh, come in and give a couple layers, a couple uh, branch layers. And we're going to just merely move a zero into the points that we moved before. So we come over here and get a move. And we'll just do a couple moves at that point. And you can click the branch and click the over here just like that. Now, um, when it comes down to it, you want to have a oil. Actually, let's let's do instead of a, a move, let's do a fill. I think that would be better. So if we did a fill, which I believe, let's go to file and drag that down here. And what we'll do, this fill will be completely different. So we'll actually drag this over here and get our first one, and then the destination. Um, actually, let's actually drag this to the destination, and then come over here and change this to a zero so that we do that and then we're going to get the length of 15 because of how many actual dents we have right so the dents are important because obviously that's how many dents we have so basically we're coming in throwing a zero into all of these dents when we hit the reset now so that's clearing that section of it right now we need to clear the results right so we need to come over here and get the results so We'll just come over here and I like to just grab this just like this. Come over here and grab it and then come to this section and paste it in there. Just that easy and then you'll highlight down to your zero point, give you a nice starting point and then put a zero in here. Our length for our fill is going to be 15 so we're going to fill all 15 of the dents, all the bits to a zero. Okay. So now the last thing we need to do is throw a zero into our position. So we're gonna get our position. And the simple thing you can do here is go over to edit, copy, and then come over here and paste this in here, control V. And we're gonna get the position on this one. So we'll get the position and put that in there. Now. We generally want to have a like a, a a one shot bit right here, so we'll call this the one shot. Though we'll call this the reset command one ons. And let's give a couple of these. Uh, we'll just do a dimension of one. That's fine. And that way, we'll come in here and just do that. So that way it gives us this, we can use that there. And now if we get a fault, we can come in here and, and I'll show you this. Now, so let's just say we have a fault of this bit right here and we do a one. Now we have a fault, the position is 33. We detected a fault, okay? So now again, we don't really have any faults set up yet. We don't have anything set up as far as the alarming and stuff of that nature or, or even the ALMDs or anything like that. This is just basically, if you think about this, this is the, the catch, right? This is the where you're detecting the first uh, one to come through of the pattern, right? So again, when it comes down to it, we found 33. If we were to hit the reset button, we reset and now it resets and everything goes back to working. Now you can actually come in and put, if you're worried about the timing of things, you can come down and put a second rung down here. This is if you're not equal to, or if you are equal to zero or um, the uh, full uh, bit level or the full length of what you're doing, 
then you can actually come in and do a one shot and clear it as well clear the control as well and I'll show you what that looks like just in case you're wanting to know um, that way you can actually see that we'll actually do the same thing we'll come to here and do the now in our scenario we don't necessarily need this but in large scale systems you may need to put this in there right so again when you come down to it I'll show you what it looks like and that way you can get your own perspective All right so look, I mean the goal here is to learn multiple ways of doing things right so we'll copy this we'll just get two equals we're gonna grab our position right and we're gonna say the position is equal to 0 or 480 if it's equal to 0 or 480 then we're going to move we're going to basically just copy this move and come down here and paste this move down here now you still want to have a one shot so I like to grab the one shot and then come over here paste the one shot in there and put that just like that so now you're guaranteed that everything will 100% go through and reset. So with all that said, we'll do another bit right here. Let's do a one right here. So this time we caught a 65 right here. You can see the 65 is in the position. We do have a fault detected. And if we reset this, everything goes back to normal, starts working, everything's just like it is. So there's two points you can have again this first point up here I like to have there but if you have the 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 key to having this bottom one in here is for multiple right so let's just say we have one right here a fault right here and a fault right here and a fault right here now again it's only going to detect the, the first one so it's no longer going to scan but again when it comes down to it we want to be able to clear it and we want to clear all of them, right? So we want to clear every single one of these words. So in the dents, or in the arrays, I should say. So in the dents, we're clearing. All we're doing is merely coming up here and saying, okay, well, we're resetting. So this right here is now going to be our reset room, right? So this will be first out fault catch reset and that's just how easy that is now I'll go ahead and delete some of these because I like to keep it I like to keep it real organized like that it just looks better that way so now everything is there and you can see and now you can see exactly how the, the whole system works right so right now this gives us the base implementation of the the starting of the the catching of the first outfall right so this does everything as far as now we can come in here and actually come in and trigger these bits and as the bits get triggered we can come in here and trigger the almd so we can actually start programming faults programming faults that we can actually control and when they indicate we'll do we can start with our, our zero and then go to one two three and however big our system is and then that way, whenever that, that bit comes, comes through, the first one to come through will be your first out fault, right? So this catches your first out fault. And again, this is not the only way to do a first out fault, but it is a good way, it is a good uh, implementation to show you how to do a first out fault that's really easy to read. A lot of times, there'll be really, really complex systems that uh, just, they go really, really too far. Uh, as far as like trying to understand them, how they work, and how you you know go in and, and try to make them uh, do different things or do different functions, this is pretty easy to read, you know, as far as that goes. So um, with that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.